Oh, there are new questions today about America's dominance in the field of artificial intelligence. Yeah, have you heard about DeepSeek? It's a new Chinese AI startup, and in some cases, its AI model is outperforming American artificial intelligence systems like ChatGPT and Google's Gemini. But with all the questions swirling about TikTok's links to China and how that app was using Americans' data, is DeepSeek safe to use? Joining us now, NBC News business and data correspondent Brian Chung. So, Brian, the stock markets have been dropping a lot pretty dramatically today in light of DeepSeek. Can you kind of highlight for us what makes it so unique and why does it have Silicon Valley on edge? Yeah, well, I mean, it's causing, uh, you know, it's really leading to ripples, ripple effects in Silicon Valley, but it's also having a pretty down effect on the stock market as well when you consider uh, it's down of over three and a half percent on the Nasdaq as of right now. Look, the, the story here is that this is a app that's a chatbot. So very much similar to ChatGPT, you can ask it, hey, how do I make this recipe? Hey, who is the better player, Michael Jordan or LeBron James? It can answer that relatively quickly. And now those capabilities are on par with what we've seen from ChatGPT. But what makes DeepSeek so remarkable and the reason why stock markets are reacting so negatively is because they've done it so cheaply. The Chinese company behind it says they were able to train this using only 5.6 million dollars of investment compare that to the other types of companies that we've seen here in the United States where they've put over a hundred million dollars in some cases into training their models so again the scale that China was able to do it at it suggests that maybe they're even beating the United States so deep seek right now as we speak is the number one free app in the Apple, in the Apple app, app store, store yep. ahead of surpassing chat GPT what do we know about the security of it? And I understand the company said today that it was hit with a cyber attack. What do we know about that? Yeah, a lot of Americans trying to download this app, and they may have had difficulty today because they were saying that you could only use a Chinese phone number to log on because of this alleged attack that they experienced. But again, there's a lot of questions over how you use this. And I want to point out the terms of use. It, it's it's actually set by, uh, you know, the laws in, in China. So it's important to remember this is a Chinese app you're working with here. Mm. All right, Brian Chung for us. Brian, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.